Dear Pixie, you asked us, is it true that a psychic can tell if an individual is being spiritually or psychically attacked? Spiritual or psychic attack has multiple interpretations. However, in the sense of one individual or group consciously and intentionally attacking or harming another using non-physical means, then it is correct that some individuals you may know as psychic, intuitive, sensitive or clairvoyant will be able to sense, know, feel or see this occurring to another individual, yes. However, other, let us say, partly or somewhat psychic individuals may misinterpret other frequencies as psychic attack when it is not that. And this misinterpretation is most common on your planet. Other individuals may be acting purely on subjective imagination and not picking up anything that could be in any way accurate. When we say imagination, we do not speak here of the imagination fields of hyperspace as powerful springboard into DNA activation and inner sight, but of the subjective distortions of mind within the unclear, unbalanced or ungrounded individual. So whilst the answer to your question is yes, it depends on the level of balance, integrity, distortion and interpretive ability within said psychic. You asked us, recently I experienced a health issue and a psychic told me that I had been hexed or cursed by an individual who was jealous of me. The psychic told me she was able to trace the perpetrator of the hex or curse. Is it true that a psychic can actually do this? This is that which we may call very advanced psychic work that can only be undertaken by an individual who truly understands that there is no such thing as a psychic attack. We repeat, this work can only be undertaken by an individual who truly understands that there is no such thing as a psychic attack. When an individual understands this, then they are granted permission to work with the complexities within the cosmic antimatter web, and they would indeed be able to either pinpoint the individual or group, or at least be given guidance regarding that individual or group. If the psychic is unable to comprehend the truth that there is no such thing as a psychic attack, then no, that psychic or partly psychic individual would not be able to pinpoint the perpetrator for he or she would not be granted access or permission to the cosmic antimatter web, which is multidimensional and quantum. The subjective mind operating on a mono stream only and not holding paradoxical or bilocational consciousness is within a fourth dimensional stream and as such the higher gateways are not available to them. You asked us, the psychic told me she would reverse the hex back upon the perpetrator. Is this the correct thing to do? And if so, is it even possible to do? It is indeed possible. However, anyone granted permissions to the cosmic antimatter web through the processing of paradoxical truth regarding that which you are calling psychic attack, would be polarized either positive service to others or negative service to self. It is only the service to self magical work that would involve that which you ask us of. 
a positively polarized individual would not be able to undertake such an action due to the level of etiquettes, permissions, integrity, and understanding of the unified field that they hold. There are indeed unpolarized individuals who believe their subjective reality to be real and an accurate depiction of reality itself. These individuals would be operating within a distorted field, their antimatter workings holding no substance for manifestation and their illusory trajectories dissipating. You asked us, is it true that psychics who do hex reversals and hexes and curses can shield themselves from the negative intention they've created, despite doing it for the sake of balancing karma? The only individuals who would engage in such action would be service to self individuals. They can indeed shield themselves for, let us say, a period of time, but the shield they use is finite. The individual who is unpolarized is experiencing a reality belief that is erroneous and without substance. They neither cast such a hex or curse, neither do they create such a shield. You asked us, can psychics pass down ancestral gifts from our relatives for us to then discover? A psychic can guide you in doing this work yourself, but would not be in a position to acquire such a gift and pass it on to another individual. This is the work that only the individual can do. So this can be catalyzed. If the gifts were shielded, let us say, by the ancestor, depending on the caveats imposed on such a gift, then the psychic would not be able to view, see or work with this gift, no matter how high in vibration and integrity, light and purity that that psychic was. You asked us, does having an ancestral gift make me vulnerable to psychic attack? Through the service to self line, this may be the case, but the passing down of the ancestral item would not be seen as a gift as such within a service to self perspective. It would be seen more of a tool. Within service to others, an ancestral gift would be a shielding from psychic attack, depending on the nature of the gift. Holding diagonal matrix activation, which is the line of the ancestral, would be a gift in and of itself, and indeed a shield in and of itself. You asked us, so are you saying connecting with my ancestors creates a shield? What if my ancestor was a bad person? It is not necessarily connecting with the individual ancestor per se that would be the shield, but the working with the diagonal axis within the individualized and unified collective matrix itself. If you are not in alignment with the particular ancestor, then communication is unlikely to occur unless it is important for information to be passed to you that is relevant to your current life's journey. You asked us, is the activation of the other directions within the matrix also a shield? Indeed, this is the case. The awareness of, acknowledgement of, conscious construction of, and working with is indeed the shield. We refer to this as a threefold awareness. The silver shield of protection, the golden shield of light, and the platinum shield of unity. 
We repeat here, protection, light and unity. We reiterate that paradoxical awareness is crucial when understanding and processing protection. For needing protection presents the code or frequency that there is something that one needs to be protected from, which is a false construct within a higher fourth dimensional field and does not exist within a fifth dimensional field. However, it is truthful and accurate within a third dimensional field. The shield makes this not so. Protection is given, therefore, to remove that which is needed to be protected from whilst remaining aware of that which is needed to be protected from. The silver, golden, platinum shield is a key into the Aurora network. For the shield creates the Archangel Michael grid and so too the divine Princess Aurora presentation. These shields are individualized constructions of geometry that can be personified as archetypal presentation. And this would be that which you know as the dragon. The silver dragon, the golden dragon, and the pearlescent rainbow dragon would be the personifications of the shields we speak of. And all are available for those of like vibratory resonance that we call the dragon riders to call, connect with, and hold within their personal sacred sphere within the crystal corridors of the inner palace, the emerald halls of Amenti, and the imagination fields of hyperspace. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. I am just so, so happy to be able to announce to you that my new book is available. The Diamond Codex and the Quartz Key. Accessing the accelerated Stargate system through crystalline transformation of the genetic code. What does it mean to transmute one's DNA from carbon-based to crystalline within the context of spiritual enlightenment and physiological evolution? Practical templates for photonic light gene expression, alchemical unification and light body activation are provided within this channeled transmission, delivering this codex at a time within humanity's awakening and expansion when synchronicity is abundant. The mysteries of the accelerated Stargate system as an intelligent living infinity structure call the star seeds of earth to remember why they are incarnated here and what they came here to do the downloads epiphanies and realizations that will organically come to each star seed as they immerse themselves within this sacred text are catalysts for those memories Introducing Dreamwalker, the story, presented through my interdimensional dialogue with the monadic light structure that is the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. This book has been such an absolute delight and joy to transcribe from the nine, and I truly hope you enjoy reading it. Available in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle.